Time for baseball. Luke Rennie will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been pretty good his last three starts. A whip under 1.20, so he minimizes the amount of base runners. He's a tough customer. It'll be fun to watch him to see if he's on point early in this one here today. Batting third. Digging in, third Sean man. Brown. He oh. did not play two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matty, this is a classic case of hitting is contagious. They scored a bunch of runs last game, and this team is flying high right now. Hard 90, hard 90. Bat, hard. And that's the first out. Two out, nobody on. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Looking up is the center fielder. Still ranging back. And that one is gone! So a solo shot here to left center field. Home run number two for him on the year. As they get one back, it's 3-1 to one now. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust. Digging in and looking for more, Sean Brown. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. And this one is gone, a home run. A solo shot here to left, his second home run of the game, as it's now a 3-2 ball game. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Riding into the box, Sean Brown comes in two for three with a couple of home runs thus far on his line. Four to start giving away free passes. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. So no runs here, no base hits, no errors, and one man left on. Eighth inning coming up. The Bisons lead it four to two. Stepping up now, Sean Brown, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Watch out for us, right guy, right place. Let's go, baby. Watch out, drive him in right here. Here you go. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Center fielder looking up to the track, to the wall. And that ball is gone! Santa Maria, game over! So a three-run shot to right center field, and none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Well, they say better late than never, and that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charge in one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball.
Well, the lineup was clicking for him in this contest, and the man you see there was a major contributor. For that, he's the top player of the game. Yeah, really a game to remember for him and everyone that witnessed it. He winds up belting three home runs, so he pretty much took this game into his own hands and decided to have a home run derby out there. A 6-4 finish in tonight's affair. The Mets came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Patrick Getz earns the victory out of the bullpen his fifth. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com.